something really interesting has come across my desk in regards to uh, McAfee and the cryptocurrency that he made whacked or whack D, whatever you want to call it. And his supposed DMS or dead man switch. Uh, there was a, well, let's just go through it. I'll show you. Um, no, this is something we're going to talk about in another video. All right, so this is where I came across it. it was on the boards and at ours is like on the conspiracy page on Reddit. And it's talking about how this air, this page right here, I think it's Brit Bong Log Post, I think. I don't know. Maybe that's just because I'm focused on the word bong in there. That might not be what it is. I don't know. But this was where uh, a countdown that supposedly counted down to McAfee's DMS was originally posted. As the author of this notes, after it was posted, it was taken down. It originally said, Contingency plan activated. Something big is coming. And now it states that the countdown continues and cannot be stopped. So, whoever was hosting this took it down or it was taken down. And everybody kind of lost interest in it. Because obviously McAfee's been dead for a while. But when it was reposted, and the countdown was, at the time of this posting, the countdown was at 10 days or 9 days. And that would be yesterday or today. So, it seemed as though for whatever reason... There was like a two week time period in between his death and, and the, the, the ending of the countdown. Now the second posting of the countdown has also been removed by whoever. And then the poster links to a bunch of tweets from McAfee to prove his point about uh, the fact that there could be a dead man switch. For you panicked people involved even peripherally in Epstein's murder, I do, absolutely, 1000% have, not just a dead man switch, but a twice daily check-in switch. If you think you are fast enough to grab me, torture me, and get what you need before it activates, think again. So we remember, like, he died, and it was very mysterious, most people were like, meh. And then, the collapse happened of that building in Miami, and there was a lot of, uh, suppositions made about his dead man switch whenever that building went down i didn't connect anything to it i couldn't find anything to connect it to it directly except for some vague references to buildings in miami the author says he also claimed to have 31 terabytes of incriminating data on unspecified individuals that'll be released to the press in the event something happened to him it was also explicitly mentioned here when john was detained in 2019 and that individuals from across the world are involved he shows this tweet this is mcafee's wife or whatever and I have good reason to suspect that John McAfee and other companions have been detained by authorities at their la latest port of call. I will be operating this account, providing updates as they become possible. If John misses his next check-in, events will be set into motion that I cannot prevent once they have begun. John has secreted data with individuals across the world. I know neither their identities or locations. They will release their payloads if John goes missing. This is, like, like the author says, it's a very explicit mention of his DMS. The author then does a research, does a search on his Twitter and, and finds that this this blog post, Brit Bong Log Post, is a hosting company that he has tweeted with extensively. I know, thank you, my friend. So this is a company that he has a personal relationship with. Both versions of the site also link to WACT, an Ethereum token that John had made as a quote joke and an interesting social experiment in regards to tokenomics. Well, that can be uh, debated on whether it was a joke or a scam, but I don't want to get into that now. The contract name is, all, is called Epstein and John had WACT tattooed on his arm, symbolizing that if he killed himself, he was in fact WACT. And the author links to the tweet I'm sure that most everybody has seen by now, right? We've all seen this now. It's, it's a very... The thing about Wacked and all of this is, is how in your face it is. Like, there's no question this man claimed to have a dead man switch and was 100% anticipating being suicided. And yet, all his warnings and all his mentions of the dead man switch have been cast aside and thrown into the memory holes of conspiracy. 
Wacked mysteriously had liquidity added when all of this occurred, sparking a flurry of activity. Many rumors in regards to its possible relation to a dead man switch and a growing following. You can look into it here if you wish. A lot of transactions, particularly those immediately after his death, raise a lot of questions. They seem automated as if something had been set into motion. And that's true. I'm not going to go through all that right now. I'll, I'll put the link of this in the description. You guys can do your own research in it if you'd like. But... In the, in the days following his death, it did look as if some automated transactions happened and that sent to some specific addresses, but outside of that, nobody's been able to know what exactly that was about. His post was taken down after two days for unknown reasons and has very recently reappeared with a redesign. The countdown ends in nine days. This is a 10-day-old post. Maybe nothing will happen, but John McAfee was undoubtedly a very intelligent and mysterious person. Mysterious person. If anyone had a dead man switch, it's him. I just wanted to post a quick write-up here as I think this is very interesting but not very well known yet outside of small circles, fingers crossed. Okay, so this guy makes a pretty good argument that there's some shenanigans around his dead man switch. And the fact that it was actually a countdown and that was uh, 10 days away from the time that his dead man switch was supposedly activated, it means that there is probably some possibility that there was something and like the author says if there was anybody on the planet earth who had a dead man switch it would be this guy i would not be surprised if he did but i would also not be surprised if it was easily so i can't say that word if it was easily thwarted i have no doubt they could stop it and so the first thing i did was i went to the comment section going to the comment section is something that in reddit is just as good as finding a good post right and down here I found this comment here. There's a lot of strange activity also going on on a YouTube channel, Rusty Shackelford. Now, do, do you know who Rusty Shackelford is? I'll give you a hint. He wore that hat in his television show, right? So that's the alias that he used whenever he did his conspiracy postings on his television show that he was on. King of the Hill. There was no acti- Okay. <laughs> so, uh, there's a lot of strange activity also going on with a YouTube channel, Rusty Shackelford, that many believe was being operated by John McAfee. This channel got popular because it was posting drone footage of Epstein Island. There was no activity on this channel for about a year until July 5th. Then all of a sudden, the channel started posting a series of short clips that seemed to be telling us conspiracy messages. If you look at the comment section, you will see Rusty Shackelford spamming the same cryptic response to many comments, which was pretty much saying Black Hawk Down. Some think this has been the start of some sort of dead man switch data dump. The interesting thing about this comment is I, I'm subscribed to Russell Sh Rusty Shackelford. I, I uh, used his uh, channel for some B-roll when I was making videos about Epstein Island. And... Not only was he the guy doing the videos of Epstein Island, but he was the only guy doing the videos of Epstein Island. And I don't know why that I never did this, but I never put two and two together that whoever this is is operating a drone in the Caribbean. And at the same time, uh, McAfee was posting all those pictures on his social media holding machine guns and being on a boat. And he was literally pirating around the Caribbean. Literally. So if there was anybody that could have been in the position to do that, and anybody who clearly and publicly hated the Epstein crowd, hello, and look, he definitely had a drone, and definitely knew how to do drone footage, look at this, this is on his Twitter account, our best drone operator by far got her drones in the air this morning, our early warning system is near completion, the Freedom Boat was her first test, and here it is, so he has this high speed drone, and he has, he's in the Caribbean, and he has a boat, and he's in the area at the time. Hello? So, <clears throat> then I did some searching. Is Rusty Shackelford connected to McAfee outside of the conspiracy circles? And it turns out there were a couple of mainstream media articles about Rusty Shackelford. Well, now as we go through this, I want you to remember how McAfee talks when you're listening to Rusty Shackelford answer. Up until now, though, Epstein Island has remained an enigma, a place that people could only peer at through binoculars and wonder. But in the wake of Epstein's arrest, 
and the FBI raid of the island, that private place is not so private anymore. And thanks to one YouTuber, now you can take an HD drone tour of Jeffrey Epstein's Freak Island. I have been running surveillance in one way or another for 22 months, Rusty Shackelford tells me, over which time this vigilante filmmaker has been tailed, chased, and had his life threatened. Masked men in jet skis have stalked him, Epstein's own helicopter has buzzed his boat, and people online have sent him numerous death threats. But this is the kind of thing that Shackelford says he lives for. Any second they spend chasing us is a second they aren't doing something horrible and evil, he says. Exposing the truth is the only way forward. I do not know whether Rusty Shackelford is his real name, but it's probably safe to assume it isn't. It is, however, his YouTube handle. The name you can search for in the YouTube under, and he interviewed him under that alias. These people who posted these mainstream media articles, they didn't even know that it was Dale Gribble's handle on the show. They never made that connection. The entire island is strange, as is everything and everyone on it, Shackelford says. The closer you look, the more fake facades or hidden doors or curious structures start popping out. He isn't exaggerating either. Shackelford has over 70 videos on his channel, all of Epstein's strange private island. And the more of them you watch, the more of the place that you see, the more questions that seem to pop up. Rusty Shackelford talking again. The large wooden door on the temple is merely a fake painted illusion, as are the sections above and below the windows, Shackelford points out. And he's right. He also signed J.E. in the false depth perception. This whole thing is aided and compounded by the fact this whole Virgin Islands area is lawless as all hell, Shackelford says, describing the Virgin Islands as the Wild West. The power company, the Department of Planning and Natural Resources, local police, banks, literally the entire government infrastructure is corrupt bottom to top. Anyone not directly involved in something illegal is being paid to look the other way. Does this not sound to you like old McAfee interviews? There was also a Daily Dot article that says conspiracy theorists think John McAfee is posting drone footage of Jeffrey Epstein's island on YouTube. This is back in 2019. And this is a lot more liberal and a lot more how these people are stupid. But these people do do good research. They find his old Twitter account. Look at him. And at the the time, he's in the Virgin Islands area. And this is the time where the drone footage is being posted. Like, can't believe I never thought of it. This was when she made the post saying that he had been detained and that there was about to be a Dead Man Switch released. This is the the tweet saying that he had been released that came out after that. And then they say that A, Rusty Shackles for Twitter account, A, that they can't prove was his, tweeted about Goose Island. And at the time, Goose Island did not distribute beer to the Caribbean. So that's their evidence against McAfee being this Rusty Shackleford account on YouTube. Here they're showing how the Anons were sharing that they thought that Ed, uh, that McAfee was Rusty Shackleford back in 2019. Now I heard this and I used his page for B-roll, but I never really thought much about it. But check this out. The original poster on Reddit was right. This page went dead a year ago. This was his last post. It was done on September 12th, 2019. Or it was posted September 13th, and it was taken September 12th of 2019. Then, Rusty Shackelford goes dark. Until July 4th, two weeks ago, he posts this. A failed and corrupt political establishment with a new government controlled... Now, we all know this post. But this post was done a week after McAfee died. The Rusty Shackelford account had been dead for over a year. And then all of a sudden he posts this and then a series of very strange cryptic movie clips. And when they're commenting, this is how he's responding. Banned from 8 Kun, need Discord server, relay. Irene, 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 danger close, Super 6-1 is going down. So that is a quote from Black Hawk Down and somebody unknown saying that they've been banned from 8 Kun. And we all know who hasn't been posting on 8 Kun. And to do that, we must have strength. Meeting this mission, this responsibility for preserving the peace, which I believe is a responsibility peculiar to our country, that we cannot shirk our responsibility. We've never gotten in a war because we were too strong. I've always believed that this land was set aside in an uncommon way. That a divine plan placed this great continent between the oceans to be found by...
there was a lawyer once. His name was Francis Scott Key. Them, they look back and ask themselves whether they've made the right choice, whether they've made the most of the opportunities they've been given. Together, we have the same mission. Over the course of your life... JM is, of course, John McAfee. And from immediately from the time he starts posting, you start seeing this building in the comments section. Things are not always Note that he liked this. So he's not trying to dispel this rumor posting again because he liked and highlighted this comment. See here? I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Now, I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. So you can see that the argument among patriots in the comment section is, half the people think these movie clips are to get the channel banned and kicked off. Half the people think that this is part of an automated dead man switch that kicked off a week after he had been gone. Ooh, there's one that was posted today. I started this yesterday. I didn't see this. Again, here's another password in the in the com or in the title. See this? And he's putting these he's putting these quotes in there. Our guests have participated in actions or events that we now recognize as part of history. Look here. In the studio, they sit down, mic up, and have conversations with faculty and students from Montgomery College. There is no Fast and Furious John Cena funeral? More code. They say to live in the hearts of those we leave behind. It's not to die. But he puts you in his grave. So now I'll do the same to him. I can't do no more funerals. First time. Now Hobbs is laid up for all people. Play. Play. The lyrics here are important. The videos that he's sharing are important. I don't I don't know, let me let's be clear. I don't know if they're important because it's some mysterious mis message from John McAfee or if because this Rusty Shackles for guy has got a good uh a good way to attract people to his channel and uh advertise because when you ha you're when you're appealing to a certain group and you know your group, then Presenting a puzzle is certainly a way to attract this group, is it not? Okay. See this? So you got some people on here just commenting because it's funny. It's a jackass video and some people who know what the deal is. So, uh, like I said, I'll put the links to all this in the description. You guys can go look if, look through it all yourself and uh, decide what you think. Oh, it won't be in the description. It'll be in the pinned comment. But let me know what you guys think. Is it just some cute advertising being done by Rusty Shackleford to take advantage of his supposed Matt McAfee connection after McAfee's death? Is the Rusty Shackleford account uh, an account that was automatically, through an automated process, started posting this stuff to that YouTube account. 
I don't know. I will be watching that account and continuing forward, keeping track of it, because if there is a dead man switch, by God, we're going to keep watching for it. Uh, at this point, I don't think it's very likely. It seems more like an advertising stunt to me than more than anything. And again, the Rusty Shackleford uh, YouTube account and the idea of him having a dead man switch, they're, uh, dis they're not connected ideas. The only way they got connected was by me doing this video or people who made the connection. So, you know, these things are actually happening independent of each other. So it's very interesting. But one way or the other, the whack D or whacked or whatever, uh, it was supposed to be countdown delayed till yesterday. So if there's a 24-hour, 48-hour time period that it needs to, for it to fully drop everything, then that may be the situation. So uh, we'll know in the next 24 hours for sure whether or not it was complete BS or not. Anyways, guys, talk to you all next time. Peace.